WFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, well, currently sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update, and we currently have a mixed bag out here. You've got the Dow up 96 points. The trannies are flat. The New York Stock Exchange up 42. The other indices to the downside. The S&P's off 17. NASDAQ 100, 221, 1 and 4 tenths percent. Russell's off 18, 8 tenths percent. Semi's down 1 and 2 tenths percent, basically about 46 buckaroonies out there. You've got the spot politics up 41 cents. Trading at 1732, that's still below its 50 day exponential moving average. Gold is up nine bucks right now, trading at 1823. Silver up a nickel, lights we crude up a buck 44. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES mini in the upper left hand side. What you'll see here is really just a sideways move. Now, 4799.75, that is the top of its bearish engulfing candle that formed the but butterfly sell, the uh, sell the D point pattern. Uh, out there, but the price is still uh, well. Right now, it's sitting right on its oscillator and change line at the 47.68 level, and price is above the top of its daily and weekly profiles out here. So, really, the signal is somewhat muted or neutral. It would be different if that spot volatilities were up near or above the 1946 level. That's the 50-day exponential moving average. You got the NQ. That's the weak link out here. Now, the NQ formed its top back on November 22nd. Had a nice rally up into that November 22nd candle. Yesterday was a rejection of that candle on later volume. Right now you've got the NQ trading into the top of its daily profile. And uh, during the uh, Trader's Ed show, we'll go take a look at that eight panel chart out there to uh, for the NQ to see what its uh, signals are showing out there. Or earlier this uh Maybe about an hour ago, uh, they were they were giving us bottoming signals out there, but I haven't looked at them for about an hour. So we'll go take a look at that during the show. The U.S. dollar index just consolidating between support and resistance of its new daily profile out there. So not sure what it wants to do. Gold got up to the uh, top of its weekly profile. That's at the 1828 level. No clue whether or not it'll be able to take that out. It has struggled. This is the third time up to that level. Silver just moving sideways. It's got real resistance at the center of its bearish structure daily profile. That's at 2345. You can see that light sweet crude is breaking out. It is trading above the top of its daily profile. That suggests that it wants to move higher. And if we took a look at longer term charts for light sweet crude, they all say that they want to lead to higher price. Natural gas, not doing a whole lot out there, really needs a close above $3.98. And a 30 year treasury did find support. You don't see it on this chart out here. It was at its TD nine count breakout level for the weekly time frame. We'll see if that will hold. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your, what's this today? Is today Wednesday? Yeah, if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one.